Hello Libra, welcome to Lotus Heart Tarot. We are here in the energy of the new moon in Scorpio to do a new moon in Scorpio reading for you Libra. My lovely fellow Libras, I am a Libra sun, rising and Venus and other placements, but those are my big ones. <laughs> All right, for Libra, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, Libra, wow, holy crap. You are, oh my God. I mean, this energy is so powerful. Like, whoo, it's overcoming me. You know, peace is our natural state of being. And oh my gosh, you are releasing some past pain, some past hurt, some past experiences. You're letting go. You're surrendering something here. It's leading to towards some kind of major transformation with you with these butterflies here in this card. You see that? It's literally coming like from your heart chakra, like from healing your heart chakra. And it's bringing you to this very centered and grounded place of peace. And for Libra, this is like an exalted expression, right? She's completely balanced. She's completely symmetrical. It, it's all, it's a very harmonious energy. And um, I'm even like oh, feeling her hands as the scales, you know? Um, it's like you're becoming that balance for yourself in your own life here, Libra. It's like being able to release something that was very imbalanced from the past is allowing you to become very balanced and very grounded and very centered within yourself. And this is bringing on some massive power. It's, it's bringing on a strength and a very empowered energy here, Libra. I feel like this has been coming. It's been building. It may even be building to the full moon in Gemini coming up in our fellow air sign here. You're making major progress. You may even be meditating or um, even practicing yoga. Wow. You guys keep, I, I keep trying to get one card for each of these and you keep getting a lot of cards. You are unlimited. Yes. You are stepping into a brand new phase here, Libra. I just keep getting that energy there. See how balanced that power card is. It's all coming by surrendering things that are no longer serving you. Yeah. You're freeing yourself. You're changing your life or your circumstances here to be able to be feel, to be to be, feel, and receive abundance. There may have been something really blocking you in the past with that release card. It's like something that was imbalanced and something that was preventing you from completely experiencing peace or balance or harmony in your own life because maybe you had to keep feeding it or you were, you were over giving to it, or it wasn't a balanced give and take. It was more giving than taking. And it feels like it was very draining and it was actually preventing you from being, being able to be at your highest and best. Now that you're free of it, you are, <laughs> it's like you have opened up to receive this abundance. You see how these teal colors are sticking out on both of these cards. It's really calling my attention to that heart and throat chakra. You may have said what you needed to say, um, or this may even be, even if you didn't look the person in the eyes or the situation in the eyes and say what you needed to say, how you feel and your ability to communicate it has come together. And now that you can express it, now that you can put words to it, now that you can say this is really what that was back there. It's like freeing you. It's like you're able to release it. You're able to like send it off into the universe. You're able to let it go. You, you've got to the bottom of it. And you have past life emotion still lives in you. You are expressing more. Jeez Louise, I didn't even read that yet. Um, you are expressing more. It is releasing. See, it's like, it's like once you can put, once you can communicate it for whatever reason, which with this full moon in Gemini, Gemini being ruled by Mercury, which is the communication, um, there is something significant there. I feel like you're letting go of something real heavy. 
on this be feel receive abundance card it says all that you desire is achievable so you're tapping into uh like some other level of being able to achieve something express something do something you know have something in your life libra call it in attract it you know there's a there is a almost like a give and take with the universe that's happening here and it feels like it is because you're able to communicate more clearly possibly even manifest what you want more clearly tap into the divine more clearly okay you're getting emotions are running high with super moon and then you're also getting new moon in leo there might have been something that happened in august or in leo season and you know on the bottom here it says confidence is the key to your success you may have said what you needed to say in august there may have been something very revealing that happened in august that let you let go of it in order to be able to manifest what you really are dreaming about or what you really actually want. It's almost like releasing a burden or something that was a very heavy weight on you. And, um, it's, it's freeing you to walk your own journey, to move into a really empowered state where you are, I mean, Empress energy is Libra energy, right? <laughs> we, and we have the same ruling planet. And there's this energy of being able to manifest just abundance, like whatever you want to manifest. And I know that sounds like a, a bunch of crap, but like we are always able to tap into that power. We always have access to that power. We're just not always focused on it and we're not always in alignment with ourself enough to really connect with it. And that's what I see changing. You're letting go of something that was kind of creating an obstacle or was preventing you from like fully coming into your own or fully coming into your power. And um, now that you've let it go, you're at this sense of peace, this place of peace. When we're at a place of peace and we're totally in alignment, we can connect to our intuition like no other. Um, and you're free to create whatever you want to create here. You're free to be whoever you want to be, uh, and to open up, to receive all the goodness and all the abundance and everything that wants to come towards you. This was a heavy thing. And I feel like part of the heaviness of it was either you were not able to really express yourself for a period of time, or like you could not tell this person or this situation, or you couldn't. It, either you couldn't find the words to say or you weren't able to really put your finger on how it was making you feel or what it was that was happening or what it was that wasn't fair, wasn't balanced or was preventing you from feeling at peace with yourself in the connection. But now that you've released it, it's almost as if the, the words just come. Um, the ability to communicate just comes. And even if it's like if you're faced with this person you, it's almost like you have released yourself from the bondage of the emotion of it. So if you are faced with this person, you will be able to more clearly speak your mind or to say what you really need to say. I just keep getting say what you need to say. Um, you have emotions are running high here, Libra, with the super moon energy. I feel like there was something that happened that, you know, um, for whatever reason, I'm seeing the Schumann resonance. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but the Schumann resonance, if there was like a particular day where there was a blow up or something, you might want to look at Google Schumann. It's like S-C-H-U-M-A-N, maybe two N's um, resonance that day. You might see that it was very high. I'm not going to go into what it is. You can Google it if you're interested, but it almost feels, I'm, I'm just seeing that with this card. It feels like there was a moment in time where things got very heated or very hot, or it's like you knew that you, this was costing you too much emotionally. Um, and it was like, once you saw it that way, once you came to that conclusion, it was over. It's like, that was the climax. That was it. It was like, I'm able to let it go now. Um, I feel like Libra, whatever this was, it caused you to have to be very strong within yourself. It, it's, you know, I don't think this was easy for you. I feel like there was a lot of emotion involved here. I feel like there was a, a, like a lot of love here or a lot of 
at least emotional heaviness with freeing yourself from this. Yeah, <clears throat> Pisces, there's something here that was really deceptive and it was, it was something that was kind of keeping you from <coughs> fully being able to be emotionally content on your own. It, it, mm, you may have been dealing with someone who was a very emotionally blocked off or who with the four of coins, I don't usually get like breadcrumb energy, but it is a breadcrumb energy of like someone who's saying, well, like I don't have that much to give, but I'll give you most of what I have to give. I'm just going to hold on to that for myself. It's like, I, I don't know. It's some kind of energy of like, I don't know. I, I like, I want to say being cheap or being stingy or, you know, they definitely, I feel like they gave, but it's like they gave four cents on every dollar. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, and they were saying, this is all I have. This is all I have to give. But it's like, there's this sense of what's behind this wall. Like, are you really showing me everything? You're, you're just showing me what I want to see or what you want me to see. And that is that you don't really have a lot to give, but that you're giving me everything that you have to give. And when you have more to give, you're going to give that too. But it's like, I don't believe, especially with the seven of swords here, that this is really it, that this is really all this person has to give, right? And look at you, you're giving everything. <sighs> Libra, you're looking back on this deception and you're seeing it very clearly. You are seeing it very, very clearly. When the seven of swords came out, I thought it was the ace of swords at first. So, and it really gave me the sense of clarity. And then the hangman came out and the hangman is, it's like where we see the bigger picture, where we, where we become enlightened about the entire thing. We may even see like every perspective or, um, we may see something that we couldn't see when we were down in it. Um, maybe because we didn't want to see it because we wanted it to be something that it wasn't. Um, we may have really just ultimately wanted this person to choose us. We may have felt we needed that. This is a soul contract for sure, but it's interesting because, you know, the page of wands can be someone choosing you, choosing to go on the adventure with you, but it can also be about you choosing your own life path here. You know, you, you choosing your soul path, the wands are the things that set our soul on fire. Right. And so this is choosing to go on that adventure, you with you. And it's like you, you may have, in, it may have all ended in a choice. It just may not have been the choice that you had originally thought you were hoping it was, but this one is better. This one leads to actual emotional contentment. This other one never could have been that. And you see it clearly now. So choosing yourself and choosing what sets your soul on fire here. Some of you, you may even be like investing in some kind of um, hobby or some kind of path that is like you've always wanted to go on. It could even be like a vacation or a, a, some kind of study, something to learn about. Um, it's like ultimately you chose you. I think you were hoping this person was going to choose you, but ultimately you chose you. And that is you choosing your own emotional contentment here. You're stepping into your own power. You are, you're, I feel like you chose correctly. I feel like investing in yourself or believing in yourself or choosing something that sets your soul on fire here, Libra, is definitely the right choice. 
because I feel like you were dealing with someone who wasn't completely honest with you. The moon reveals all things eventually, right? Okay. If you are dealing with a water sign, Libra, you are getting every loving thought is a seed of love. Sometimes the seed sprouts instantly and other times it lies dormant for a while. The timing really doesn't matter. Love always grows into greater love. Wow. It, yeah, it, it's like, right. <laughs> okay. If you're dealing with a fire sign, you're getting everything happens for a reason. And even though the reason is sometimes unclear, I graciously accept that all transpires in the knowing that unfolds through love in accordance with the divine will of my soul. That's what I feel here. If you're dealing with an earth sign, every experience, regardless of whether you perceive it as good or bad, comes with a gift attached. Yet sometimes the gift is only revealed with the passing of time. Trust all is as it should be. Yeah, I definitely got the some kind of passage of time making it even clearer for you or like making the, like you will know eventually that you made the right choice here for sure. If um, it's like you can almost see your life had you taken different paths and it's like, wow, I'm so much better off for having gone this direction. You know, we don't always get a huge payoff like that. If you're dealing with an air sign, you are always in my heart like a glowing ocean light, a shimmering star in heaven. Love is a golden memory drifting through space like autumn leaves, recollections of loving days and nights. You know, Libra, when you are in the energy of complete self-fulfillment, you that's when that's when you get the good stuff that's when you are a vibrational match for other people who are also emotionally content them with them whatever this path is that you're choosing to pursue at this time where you're choosing yourself um it is going to lead you to that energy where you really are hard to resist by other people who are also emotionally content on their own, who have also made the ballsy choice and chosen themselves in life. All right. This is what I have for you, my dear, sweet fellow Libras. <laughs> if this reading resonates, let me know, like, share, subscribe, comment. I love you guys so, so, so much. Um, and I send you off with all my very best. Always, always, always. Bye-bye.